what are the A through G requirements? The A through G requirements are a sequence of high school courses that students must complete with a grade of C or better to be minimally eligible for admission to the University of California and California State University system. This does not guarantee admission. So that is the definition of the A through G requirements, but what exactly does it mean for you as a high school student? We will discuss the UC and CSU campuses, a breakdown of the A through G requirements, as well as the differences between the A through G requirements and high school graduation. We will also discuss what to do in terms of meeting the A through G requirements. These are the nine campuses of the University of California system or UC system and the 23 campuses of the California State University system or CSU system. In order to be eligible for a UC or CSU school, you must have a C or better in all A3G subject areas and classes, take the ACT or the SAT, plus any subject test or other writing requirements, as well as any additional requirements per an individual campus. It is possible that a UC or CSU school will have many more requirements than just meeting the A through G requirements. Here's the list of the A through G requirements. Subject requirement A is history, social science. Examples of classes that meet this requirement are world history, US history, and government. Subject requirement B is English. You will need four years to meet this requirement. That includes the four years of English that is required for you to take while in high school. Subject requirement C is math. It is required for you to take three years, but recommended for you to take four. Some examples of math that meet this requirement are Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, plus any upper level math courses. Subject requirement D is science. To meet this requirement, you must have two years in two different disciplines. It is recommended that you have three years and in some cases even four. Please check with each individual campus that you are applying to to make sure that they don't require more years of science. Some examples of classes that meet this requirement are biology, chemistry, physics, marine science, AP Chem, and AP Bio. Subject requirement E is a world language. There is a two-year requirement, but three years are recommended, and it does have to be consecutive years of the same language. Some examples of classes we offer are Spanish, French, American Sign Language, Japanese, and Chinese. If you took one of these languages in the eighth grade and it counts for high school credit, you can use this towards this requirement. Subject requirement F is a visual performing arts. There is a one year requirement. Some examples of classes that meet this requirement are art, drawing, dance, band, photography, theater, and ceramics. Subject requirement G is one year of a college prep elective. Some examples of classes that fit this requirement are psychology, sociology, AP psychology, computer programming, and entrepreneurship. There are many different courses that are A through G eligible. Please check out our Thousand Oaks High School portal on the A through G course list on the University of California website. You can scroll down by individual subject and check any class that you have taken. Here are the high school graduation requirements. You can see that many of the requirements are the same as the A through G requirements. The biggest differences are when you get to a visual performing art, a career tech, or a world language class. In that instance, you must have both a world language and a visual performing art. In addition, you must meet your 230 credits and not fail any classes 
in order to graduate on time. We don't want any doors to be closed for you. Meeting the minimal requirements for A through G will put you on the path to attending college after high school. So how do we get there? You must have C or better in all your classes. Remediate any Ds through summer school. Communicate with your counselor about your path. All of this information is accurate as of spring 2019, but the University of California and Cal State systems change their requirements from time to time. Please check out their websites for the most up-to-date information. You can also check out our counseling webpage for any additional updates.